But whatever I did there, I want to repeat up there. And right there. And over there, right there. <laughs> All right, welcome back. And finally have a good day here in January that I could actually come out here and do something. Uh, I got a bunch of salt here laying. Let's see if I could reach here. Um, the salt trucks that come by. And that is a giant chunk that we need to get that out. I have a limited amount of time, as usual when I do these things. The two-year-old is actually sleeping. So, but it just feels great to get out here. Right here was real interesting. Although it sucks because it's dead, but you see this dead spot right here, and on the outer layer, on the outer layer, it looks really nice and it's really thick. And I don't know, what do, what do you all think? This is like a mystery to me. And ideally, I want my whole grass to look like this. If this could look like this right here, well, I could therefore make the whole thing look like that. And that's the goal. That looks amazing. And whatever I did there, I want to repeat up there. And right there. And over there, right there. <laughs> over here by my mailbox, I had a lot of washout <clears throat> when I overseeded this whole hail strip area. And uh, this area right here, all the way going up, kept on washing out. So I took a metal rake and I poked in a bunch of holes. And here you can see where all the, the grass is growing, where the seeds fell in the hole. And that prevented it from washing out. So. Yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> I guess it's obvious to a lot of people, but eh, I know there's a piece of salt, uh, but not me. The spring hell strip renovation is looking great. I mean, fantastic. I couldn't ask for anything better. And this, I, <sighs> um, I have a ton of stuff I need to do. I need to pick up dog poop. I need to finish the Christmas lights. I need to blow some of this crap off. I need to make sure I get the ice crystals off. I want to wash my car, blah, blah, blah. So priorities, priorities, priorities. All right, so the front hell strip is done. I kind of consider that my, my like lawn front doormat. Um, it looks way better. All that stupid helicopter is really bad this fall. I don't know why. I need to Instead of blowing them off, it's kind of tedious. I need to get one of those. Eagle has this like uh, rotary brush thing that it's like a broom, but it spins. Let me get one of those bad boys. Uh, anyway, I use this blower quite a bit here. This is my setup. Excuse my garage. Put that there and throw that on there all the time. Blow out my garage. Quite frequently, it's nice to, I don't have to worry about the Eagle uh, ever not being ready. And looking at my McLean right now, I actually forgot to winterize that. Maybe I should try and start it right now. My gas is probably, no, no, that's a bad idea. Bad idea, I should put new gas in that, drain the old gas out, put new gas in and then, and then start it. Um, oh, a deer. Deer down there. And once again, I found a weed growing through. All right, I got these all cleaned up. Kind of looks like it's a bunching type of plant. Uh, the leaves are somewhat folded. The, the leaf tips are kind of boat shaped. Lingules should be bigger if it was bluegrass or triv. I don't actually even see them. And it's really wavy. It's all wavy. If I remember correctly, little waves in the blade is is actually indicative to annual bluegrass. So 20% certainty this is annual bluegrass. Linus is somewhere out there. Where the heck is he getting a muddy paw? Make mom really happy about that. There's the backyard. Super, super duper muddy. I have to prevent him from getting muddy at the same time picking a poop. And I gotta find Linus. Uh, he's been drifting, drifting further and further in the neighborhood, getting bold these days. He's, he's eight years old. Oh, he's almost eight. Uh, yeah, he's turning nine, actually. So, Linus. He's somewhere out there. 
Thanks for watching. See you later.